zooming up, Mitar to the serve. Level play. So this second round encounter in the women's singles. Sign and Awal, number three seed nearest to us. Up against Minatsu Mitani of Japan. And this is actually the third meeting between these two players. The previous two have both been won by Sign and Awal. Well, it's a lovely first rally by the Japanese youngster. 21 years of age, current world ranking of 28. That's the highest she's ever been. From Shikawa in Japan. Ooh, it had a little look, decided not to go over. But Jim, it's interesting, these two players here, we've got Sina Nawal, who of course, a huge, huge superstar in India, having won India's only second female athlete to have won an Olympic medal, promptly followed by a third, of course, Mary Conway, the female boxer, also won a bronze medal at the London Olympics. This is her first tournament since her Olympic bronze medal, whereas her opponent has been busy in the other Super Series events. Do you think that's of significance for this encounter? It is, it is. There's, there's, a, there's a few things in it uh, uh, that I also know from, from the Danish uh, Olympians that, that uh, of course, after the Olympics, there's a big, <laughs> you know, you got to get used to getting back to normal uh, uh, badminton. Uh, you can say the Olympics is so big that nothing else really compares to it. So she's probably had to, you know, adjust uh, to, to f find new targets um, and, and, and have a break because the, the training up to the Olympics is so hard. Um, um, so she probably had a break, so she's probably not so as ready as as uh, she was as, uh, at the Olympics. Um, yeah. Where the other one has probably prepared uh, more for these tournaments there is now. Uh, I must say it does look like Sena has a little bit of problems with her knees. Uh, one of the knees there is very, um, let's say... Heavily strapped yeah, to her heavily right, strapped, yeah. right knee indeed. Which is something that's also uh, uh, with a hard training period up to the Olympics, of course, injuries are uh, a part of it. Now, yeah, finds the line that time. She wasn't happy with the previous call. And that time, clearly in. Ooh, plum on the line. Great shot. Oh, super sharp Well, Natani did have a terrific China Masters. Four, beat former world champion Wang Lin in the first round, and then in the second round, beat the number three seed, former world number one, Wang Shuxian, in two straight games. So we know she's got the capability. Oh, that's nice. Good shot. She's one of those players, Jim, I, I think has been coming in under the radar, if you know what I mean, because there's been so much talk in World Badminton about Sine and Awal, about Taisu Ying from Taipei, who of course won the Japan Open Super Series, and uh, Intunon Rachanuk and Buntip Bodrana Prasatsuk of Thailand. And to me, Mitani is just as talented but she hasn't created so much attention in the world media but she's a very very skilled player she's a very skilled player um, of course <laughs> it is also when there is so many players that somebody <laughs> is going to be left out <laughs> yeah uh, and she probably needs the, the the big one the big result to to get on the radar uh, but definitely she's a very skillful player and she she moves really well as you can see as well uh, it looks like her plan is to kind of like you know, get Sina to uh, to move as well. Uh, as we saw before, where she was unlucky hitting the tape, and here again, she she really tries to go and and play the net close, and then so she can she can move Sina around uh, the court. Um, also because uh, Sina's offensive uh, offense weapons are so good that if she gets the timing right, uh, she, she's too difficult for her to play. But you see here, she puts pressure on her, and then. Anna is having trouble and makes mistakes. 
It does look like, especially in the forehand, deep forehand, that knee is looks a little bit troubled. Oh my goodness, well you don't get better than that. The next shot there from Sine and Abel. Absolutely inch perfect. Look at that. Perfect. But well, you can see that Sana has the time there. She gets the time to do her, her shots. And that's that's something Tiny has to try and get her out of because then she's she's too good. What on earth was the shot from Sine and Awol? Didn't seem to be high enough to be a clear, and it got what it deserved. But how on earth did she play that cross court shot? Bittani contorting her back. But she's again, uh, her moving is really, really good. So she has the ability to do these things. And again, she kept Sine on the backcourt there, under pressure. And then as soon as she has the chance, she will uh, dump it on the other side as quickly as possible. wide yeah, disappointed with that hand on hip looking round to her coach Eight, six. Yeah, coach Kaneku Yonikura he himself was a very very fine player winner of the gold medal at the 1998 Asian Games big surprise that was not to her I suspect but <laughs> to the watching world beat Ye Zhao Ying on the way to that gold medal. She's trying to do the right thing then, no, Matthew. Uh, she, she gives the she gives Sina the long way to the shuttle all the time, uh, and that's exactly what she needs to do. She probably needs to use her drop shots a little bit more. Uh, as soon as she attacks, she attacks on Sina, and she's just too strong for that. And she gets into the way. But I have noticed so far, Jim, that she is, as you say, trying to do the right things. But rarely has she given Sina Nawal, of course, <laughs> common curse of the commentators. Previous rally, she didn't really didn't give Nawal any chance to dictate the pace of the rally. She was doing all the dictating. Mm -hmm. This is a good rally. Very good rally. Oh my goodness! Well, typical tactics of women singles using all four corners of the court, pushing and probing, waiting for the opportunity, get your opponent out of position. But you see, as soon as Zane is on top of the rally, she has uh, Minati under so much pressure, she can't really do anything. Well, we had a clear shot there of the injury woes to Simon Ewell. Heavy strapping on that right knee. Oh, it's called good. Once again, Simon Ewell doesn't like the call, and I have to say, my initial reaction was that I had sympathy for her on that. Yep. Yep, that in, was wide. In or out, she does the right thing there, but we need to, that's yeah. the way she should play, you know? That she, she gets it over Sina and down to her uh, back uh, courts, to the back court. Uh, but a little bit of help there, maybe, from the line judge. Well, 
the courage to play a net shot off your opponent's net shot, paying dividends on that occasion. And I suspect, Jim, that the net play in women's singles is becoming more and more important, almost as important as net play in men's singles, which is absolutely crucial. It is very crucial, and, and it is also because the, the females are getting stronger, uh, they're getting quicker. That means they have a, a Sena. You can see Sena as soon as she has time on the backcourt. She, she's very difficult to play. That means she needs to take the net away from her. But also when you're playing these arenas with, with drift and, and stuff like that, if you can take the net away, it's difficult to control the lift. Oh, this is a good fight back. Four straight points. See, what's happening now is Sena is actually opening up too early now because she's under pressure from Minati. She's, she's using a little bit more pace on the clears, getting her under pressure on the back court, and that means she's she's forced to take chances. And and right now, I don't know if she, she's, she's fatigued or anything. It's early, I know, but if that is that knee, but it looks a little bit like she's she's trying too early. We'll make that five straight points from six, ten down. Minatsu Mitani goes to the mid-game interval with the advantage. Well, of course, Sayane will mentor Pulelo Gopichand, future mentor, not here in Onsa. But Edwin Indrawan, formerly of Indonesia, of course. And he's a very fine coach, too. Well, Jim, what did you make of that? Yeah, but it, it, it sounded like he he, uh, he said after a long rally, take a little bit of time off or something. I couldn't exactly yeah. hear what it was, but there was something also he was talking a lot about what she should do on the backcourt when she was under pressure. Uh, um, 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 I think he, he wanted her to maybe take some of the pace off uh, to, to try and go too early for to winning the points. No, oh, this is an extraordinary run of points, isn't it? Six straight points now. And it was after that long rally. Had one really good long rally. Well, it was all turned round that rally with a delightful cross court block on the defence from Mitanic. That was the one. For me, it really looks like Minati has seen that there is some trouble moving on the other side because she hit a clear really up into the arena here and kept Saina on the back. No, oh, this is extraordinary. 14. Good game plan. And the run of points, eight straight points to be precise, only coming to an end with an error on serve. Was that three clears in a row? To keep three clears in a row. Yep. And on the third one, she was really under pressure, as you yep. can see there. Just over. Ah, okay. The one before. So she's in charge of the, the rally. You know, so she's doing the right things right now. And, and Sena probably has to go in and kind of fool her into to playing the, you know, some more net and some more, you know, physical uh, smashes and stuff like that. Yeah. Good net exchange. And this time, good courage from Sina Newell. That's what she has to do. She has the chance, she has to keep the net. Well played.
Oh. oh my goodness, how did she get that back? Wow, what an extraordinary rally. Fabulous retrieving. And got really, up again so quickly. Uh, very quick, very quick. Again, the footwork doing, doing yeah. its thing. <laughs> Now the number three seed, Silent A will now back level. Crisis averted. That's well played. You see, that's what he talked about, you know, not pace, using pace all the time from the backcourt. I think that was what he said in the in between. Uh, when they spoke to each other. It's, 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 uh, it's important that she doesn't use power all the time because then she would be moving around. Just long. Good judgment from Maywell. See here again, she just keeps the attack now, Sena. She she had a few clears out on the back court, so she just puts it down, dumps it down on the other side and, and fools her I mean, Archie to play the net and then she goes for it when she's up there and then she she's been doing a lot of mistakes now, I mean, Archie, and that. Oh, that's clever. Smart. Yeah. yeah. Well played. Very, very good tactical play from this lady. 17, 14. Well, oh, isn't it extraordinary? Eight straight points to Mitani and now seven straight points to Sina Awol. She clearly changed the tactics, just uh, you know, using some soft shots instead of hitting harder. And now uh, Minati's struggling in her defense. And then if she can come in with that clear, then she opens up the court. Just long. Eighteen, fourteen. Oh, good call, cool line judge. A good judgment from Simon Awell. Well, it is an extraordinary game, isn't it, yeah, <laughs> as far as running points is concerned? But she's doing, you know, that's really smart. Thing. And now, now she, she, she used uh, a tactic against the work. Minachi just played it around. She just, you know, as I said, used soft shot from the And now Minachi starts to go in and play Sainer's game, you know, playing flat with her and all that. And that's not the way uh, uh, to play Sainer because she's too strong for that. Oh, yes, set up with the tight spinning net shot. Force the short lift, as you suggested, did happen every time that tight spinning net shot goes over. So now, game points for the number three seed. Six of them, to be precise. Oh. 15, 20. Well, given the run of points we've just had from both players, nothing is impossible, is it? One of the game points has been saved. This time she converts 21 15. Sign and Awol having been 10 14 down. Yeah, getting herself in a position where she can play the attacking shot. Give point because you are only you cross out. Mm. Only mistake. But now you cross okay, then you no problem. Yeah. And the opening game. If you drop the 
bagian ini pet si pet. If talk like this ya, tang tang like this. No, like this, like this, like like this. Si very like. Drop, tang. I drop in 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 for him. For him get pet. Good start ya. Well, there, Edwin in the row one. Just giving tactical advice and just talk us through that. Yeah, he was telling that uh, it's a little bit of what we actually talked about that he, he to use the attacking clear sometimes and then just drop to the forehand side. It seems like he said she was doing a lot of mistakes. Uh, Mitani was doing a lot of mistakes in the forehand side, so he wants her to, to kind of drop to the to the forehand side. Uh, and if if she keeps getting getting low, she, he, she should use the attacking clear instead of a slow clear. Uh, um, and that's the kind of what we saw in some of the rallies where Mitani was forced to go up and and lift from her forehand side all the time and then she was actually attacked in the backhand side. And, uh, so on part, Ian Ross calls the players back to court. And I should think Simon Awell, the number three C, will be mighty relieved to have got that first game under her belt, 21-15. Having been 10 14 down. Yeah, a slight indecision there from Mitani. Didn't seem to really commit to that shot. say the body language of Minatsu Mitani a little bit worrying from as far as Japanese fans are concerned looking very disappointed after that rally that was two point in the forehand side so looks like he's spot on the coach <laughs> Yes, the coach, Edwin Indrawan, just pointing out exactly what Jim Laugerson had been pointing out in the opening game during the mid-game interval. Anyone would think you're a world-class coach, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Jim Laugerson, former world number one in the men's doubles and former coach both in to the Irish national team and Austrian national team and now the Danish junior under-19 team. Seems like uh, Mitani doesn't have a plan B. Like She started off with plan A and that worked, and but as soon as Sena changed that, she hasn't really changed a game or adapted to it. Well, just reinforce what you were saying a little earlier about what she should be trying to do. Well, well, she has to make sure that that Sena is is uh, you know is not balanced to make her shots uh, so so force her uh, around the court. Um, but but right now she's playing it, playing it straight into it. Now that's good. <laughs> Uh, but that's maybe what she needs to do in the, in the plan B is to be quicker on the net Three, and then uh, so she four. can take the net away from Sena so she can use the backcourt again uh, better but 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 uh, it seems like she stopped because uh, Sena didn't give her the, the you know the, the, the power from the backcourt and just used the drops she she just uh, just kept lifting back to her and that didn't really work Oh, it was a good return of serve. Deceptive and deep into the backhand corner of Mitani. Well, 
to most people that would look like an unforced error and I'm afraid it does have to go down as an unforced error but in a way you can understand the philosophy she knows she's got to make it a very good net shot to get any advantage and to start using the tactics that you've just been talking about if you can control the net then you're going to start to control and dictate the pace of the rally and then when you try and play the perfect net shot of course by definition at times you will make errors you will uh, and that's that's the big part of the badminton if, if you know if the other one takes away you, 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 your normal game, uh, you will be forced to do shots that you're not used to and play them sharper than you're used to. And of course, mistakes will come, but you have to do it. You, know, you can't just stand in there loose. You have to try and, uh, you know, uh, uh, do what you, you have to do to win. And yeah. you can see in the beginning, everything was working fine. Now she's doing these mistakes. Uh, um, this one, she knows it has to be close to the line. It has to be close to the net. And then mistakes come. It's, it's not like... She does it on purpose. <laughs> no. She's forced yeah. to do it. Yep. And that's 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 what Sane has changed. Oh, a beautiful block. Apologizes for the fact that it was deflected by hitting the top of the tape. But it's like a shot like that, you can see, you know, next time she knows, okay, I need to get that closer to the line because or else Sane is gonna uh, you know yep. just sense that it's very very important times for this lady Tony, unless she holds her opponent here and gets a little bit closer in the match and that's a beautiful little hold and flick from sign and Ewell. just get the sense that perhaps the number three seed from india is beginning to stamp her authority on this match Tiny seems a little bit frustrated. What a rally. Goodness me, you could just see the court coverage and the work rate of Minatsu Mitani. My goodness me, but wasn't it obvious in that rally, Jim, how that Saina Newa was really pushing her opponent to the back and from side to side. Beautiful tactics. Very good tactic, and, and again, every time she had the chance, she wasn't balanced, it was from Pitani's forehand. Uh, um, uh, and that means the more that Pitani's forced down there, she opens up her, her backhand side, and you can see as soon as uh, as, as Mitani's going to cover her forehand, Sainik puts it in her backhand. So, very, very clever tactic. Yes, and I think what's of huge significance to her confidence and state of mind at the moment is the fact that... Edwin Endrowan, one quick word, and then back to his coach's seat. Whereas Mitani's coach having to work a lot harder, Yanni Kura, using all of her allotted time to talk to her player. Attacking oh, Mitani there. So maybe that's something they spoke about to get a little bit more attacking. Um, we also have to say that, that, that the, the, as we spoke about before, this uh, match is uh, the arena here is not uh, as big as some of the other arenas we're, we're seeing normally. That means that we can see here that they've actually done a lot of uh, mistakes from clear. And uh, that means that you can't just use the you know, neutral clear where you just put it up and wait for your chance without it being punished. So uh, that gives a different aspect to the game that they're maybe normally the Japanese girl is not used to. Oh, 
Oh, that is delightful. Goodness me, what control on that drop shot. That's a very good shot. Very, very difficult shot from the, around the head side. You see a lot of players drag it out wide. Because of the bo body yeah. movement going backwards and sort of sideways yeah. at the same, same time? You have to kind of change the racket to, to get in. Missed it. Just wide. Yeah, little look of anguish from Simon and Awol. The timber has actually got up quite a big right now. Well, that time, Mitani reading the cross-court angle and was ready and waiting for it. And, of course, in singles, if you do play cross-court, if you're not putting your opponent under pressure, then all they have to do is a simple straight block and you've got the full diagonal to scamper and try and retrieve the shuttle. That's the longest distance to run. Oh, nice. Well, I wonder what on earth Yoni Kura said to her player in that interval. Yeah, but I, interval. I, I also wonder what the other coach is thinking because Nosan has put, placed it in, in uh, Mitani's backhand side three times and lost all three points. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he will uh, tell her to get back to that forehand side. That's short. Yeah, well worked, rally. She's paced it up. She's uh, playing more aggressive and uh, and taking the chances on the attack. Yeah, good courage too, isn't it? Well, that's her fastest of the day, 2.05. Six straight points. Oh, I missed it. Well, so much for my theory that Simon A was well, stamping her authority on the match. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well we've got you here, Jim. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, she changed. It's a little bit of both here. She saying that kind of like maybe thought that it was going a little, little easy <laughs> uh, and changed the tactic a little bit. But the other, Matani, is also uh, yeah. playing well. There, Naywell didn't give her so much time no, on the backhand. No. Much flatter push. Forcing her into error. Oh. Oh, that's incredible, isn't it? Not only precision placement, but the disguise with the overhead. Just rolls that racket head so at the nice. last moment. So nice. It's really, really a good shot. Really good. It's a very difficult shot. Long. See again a clear mistake. So you don't see you, that that often. And is that in your book a, a, an unforced error, a sort of cardinal sin in singles to uh, make a, an error on sir on on the clear? Mostly in single, if you can find the back court, you you, you <laughs> your game plan is a little bit easier. Yeah. Uh, on, um, you can say. It's, it's very important to find that back hole. It doesn't really look like anybody up in here has find, found it yet. Yeah. They've done mistakes. Well, you can see it's just a normal, you can see, course, okay. transport shot that has to be safe down there to open up the game. And they just they're a lot, made a lot of mistakes on it. I do like the way Mitani played that rally, though. Mm. Really taking the initiative, taking the shuttle early, 
playing it from side to side. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I don't believe it. What a net shot. Well, a look of despair. What do I have to do to win the rally? That defensive shot was incredible. Wow, she, she doesn't really do anything wrong there. <laughs> That's just a very, very good shot. Actually, she played the rally really well. It's not even, you know, she's not even doing it close to the net. She's doing it a little bit away from the net. That's a very, very difficult shot. But she's still in it, Natani. She's worked her bay, way back into the match right now. Very much so. 15, 12. Ah. Yeah. What was that one down the forehand, then a very accurate one down the Mitani wow. backhand. But as you can see there, if he, it's, it's maybe a little bit difficult to see from there, but it, it, the lift is too short. And then, again, going back to talking about finding the back court, if she had a good lift down to the line, she wouldn't be able to do these smashes. Uh, and you saw the rally before, she had three of them. Um, so it's so important to find that back court. Again, a little bit lucky there, too short. But it's clearly her plan to try and find it you can see, because she uses yeah. a lot of those left right now. Oh. Took it early. Swayed the body, making it look as if she was going to play the push deep in court and then just check the shot at the last moment. Wonderful. Just long. Service over. 14, 17. Time is running out. The 21 year old from Japan. Again, that first lift is way too short. Uh, you know, the, the plan is, is right, but the, she's just not getting the, the, wrong, the right length. Oh, she's done it again. That is delightful. 19, 14. She's very good from the front court. Yeah. Dana, very, very good. That's a lot of opportunities when she's up there. I think she's a very complete player. I think she's very good in all departments. There's two points needed. Now just the one to get through to her second quarter-final here at the Denmark Open. First time she did that was three years ago. And on the verge of victory here in this second round encounter. Oh. Only needed the one opportunity comprehensive performance after a little bit of a wobble in that opening game when she lost eight consecutive points and a comfortable victory in the end for the nice Olympic bronze medalist number three seed here 21-15 21-14 confirms the umpire And for her first tournament since those Olympic Games, 
having watched her play her first round match yesterday against Bei Yung Ju of Korea. She looks to me as if she's getting better and better. 21 15, 21 14, and the number three seed, Sina Nawal, is through to the quarter final.